All right, so let's say you have a new weekly meeting where you like to discuss projects and tasks for the week as a team, and you can sort of assign and delegate who's working on what. I'm gonna be using the new database buttons that they just came out with to illustrate that. Let's say the person facilitating the meeting creates this new entry and shares their screen. We can associate a new project with this meeting that says, hey, we created a new project as an outcome for this meeting, and let's also create a new task as an outcome for this meeting. Now, when you click on a button, it automatically assigns it to the person that's clicked on it, me. And notice how I've also created two other buttons assigned to me, a new task, in which we can automatically change who is assigned which project, and if we wanna create a new task under that project within the same view. Let's say that I wanted to create a new task under this project. I can do so by clicking on it and that new task appears here. Let's say this new project needs to be completed by someone else, and one of your team members is also on the same page while this meeting is happening. I'm gonna to go to that entry here, and I'm signed into a different Notion account so that I can illustrate how easy it is to change the assignment of a project or a task using these brand new database buttons. It's kind of a mouthful to say database buttons because we're so used to isolating the two part, but I think this is a very cool feature that I feel like renders Notion automations a little obsolete because now you don't have to pay for these features and you can just use them right away because it's in the Notion database environment and you don't have to toggle Notion automations. Let's say for this new project, I need to reassign it to myself. What we can do is I can click on assign to me and let's see what happens. Notice how the person changes to my other account and that process is seamless. I've created this button now where if you click on assign to me, and I click on it, it assigns it to me instead. So now what this allows you to do is everybody can be on this one new meeting entry and everybody can click on these buttons to assign tasks and projects to yourself and then also connect them to the new meeting you might have had as a team. So if I click on new project and new task, both of those show. If I wanted to create a new task under this new project relationally, we can click on new task and that shows right away. If we open new project, new task appears there. Maybe there's a little back and forth between your team and say, oh, actually, you know, this project should actually be assigned to me. So I can just go ahead and click on that and bam, very simple, very easy. I think this is a really great and easy way to show the versatility and potential around these new database buttons. And I think these elements will sort of allow you to level up workflows without having to purchase a Notion automation upgrade through the plus plan. And I think it'll also allow you to create these very action oriented buttons in which you can configure them like you would a normal button and layer in a bunch of other things at once. This is just a short use case video that I've created and I will be showing how you can set this up by having three databases one for meetings, one for projects, and one for tasks. As you can tell, meetings is relationally connected to projects and tasks. Projects are relationally connected to tasks, and then tasks are connected to both weekly meetings and projects. I've gone ahead and created those Notion database buttons and their purpose for these databases. And as you can see, I have a project Notion database button, a task Notion database button, and then I have a task database button as well for projects and assignment for buttons in projects and tasks. As you can tell, I've already sort of configured these buttons, but I'll sort of do a quick walkthrough on how to configure them. You can hover over to the property, edit it, and we're not adding a whole lot here. Button is clicked is a default setting that we can edit, and now we just create a new project within the projects database, title it a new project, we can create that relation, within that weekly meeting. And then we can also create that relational link where the person who clicked the button is gonna be automatically assigned that new project. As you can imagine, it's a very similar setup for tasks where we create a new database entry in a task database. We connect it to the weekly meetings entry and then also create that relational attribute for a person based on who clicked the button. Now, if we hover over to the projects database where we want to create a new task under that project or changing the assignment of that project, we can just create that database button, title it as needed, but this time we're gonna be editing this page, which is just saying, let's edit the database entries that are related to this page that we are clicking the button in. And what we're going to do is modify that person property and whoever clicks on assigned to me will automatically replace 
who was previously assigned. As you can tell, you can switch up the way that you use these relational attributes, particularly within the person property, but this is a very simple setup that I've created for assignment. And as you can imagine, it's almost identical with the tasks. We just edit this page. We want to replace the assignment to whoever clicked on the button. I created those assignment database buttons for each project and task databases. And then the last Notion database button that we're going to configure is creating new tasks within project that will automatically be related to it. And what we're basically doing is we're adding a new task within the task database, and then we are just connecting the project relation within the creation of that new task. And so that is how you set up those database buttons. So when you put everything together and create this new weekly meeting, you can click on these new projects and new task. And then if we really do want to change the assignment, you can click on assign to me. And then if you want to create a new task, you can also do that. And as you can imagine, this new task is relationally connected to that new project, which is connected to this new meeting. This is a really efficient way for all of your team members to open the new meeting entry up and individually and independently assign new projects and tasks with a click of a button and create new tasks and projects that are relevant to the context of the meeting very quickly. So the last thing I forgot to mention about the new weekly meetings database was setting up the relations as a page section of the database itself. If we go to the six dots and click on show as, you can notice that it's a page section. In default form, it looks like a property like so. What we can do is edit that property, show as page section, go to the three dots, and then make sure that show those buttons by clicking on the eye and show the assignment, person, the new task button, and then the relationship itself. And same here where we modify the page section to show the assignment and person property in the relation property of this database. I think I'll be creating a few more of these Notion database button tutorials and how we can best use them, but I feel like this is a great intro video to illustrate the power and seamlessness of Notion buttons when it comes to databases. Obviously, the Notion buttons themselves don't have features that are wildly different from their standalone button use cases, but when you are able to combine basic buttons within a database view itself, we can do cool things like this that work right away. And so hope you gained something from this video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.